Welcome back, everybody, to the Zombie Metropolis series featuring Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are doing Horde 98. So, um, I spent all of day 98 um, just pretty much preparing for tonight. I went out and mined uh, another truckload of iron, and so we have... Um, I've made most of that into steel. I've got 51 ingots left over, but we have uh, quite a bit of uh, steel plating and some more iron plating uh, that we made too. And so let's put uh, about half of that back in here. I have a spare blade trap with me uh, this time, uh, plus the one that I already have down uh, in case, you know, the first one gets destroyed. And uh, the other thing is I've made a bunch of shotgun shells. Uh, souped up the the purple auto shotgun that we found at the Isaiah store and uh, it actually does more damage per shot than the blue pump I, I misread that in the last episode in case some of you guys uh, caught that or not and so um, Actually, we don't need to carry this much Iron with us either. Let's carry maybe that much Okay, um, so this thing actually pack, packs a really good punch man. It does uh, uh, 41 damage per shot. Well actually 41 plus 8 with the mods on it, uh, and it's modded up with uh, auto uh, auto mod, choke, magazine extender, because I can't make the drum extender, and a foregrip mod. So this thing's going to be a beast. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, I am, I guess I am still a little bit over encumbered. I'm going to put these two gas things in the, uh, in the generator, so that should probably unencumber us. So I'm just going to pretty much, well, actually, we probably better just get going. <laughs> uh, we're going to leave that door open there. Now, as far as, uh, you know, the Horde Night tonight is going to be the same scenario as Horde 91, except for, you know, we're, we're, we're it's probably going to be a little bit nastier, but it's the same basic setup that we had before. So we have um, uh, a turbine down, or not a turbine, but blade trap down here. we got the three electric fences coming across. And uh, so... If all goes well, which I'm hoping that it will, um, yeah, that lightness up there, uh, we should be, we should be in good shape uh, for tonight. Uh, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and time lapse this, put some music on, uh, like we did last time, because again, it's just going to be the same thing that we did before. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, this is my my horde base solution for now, if not for the rest of this playthrough, and it does seem to work pretty good. Uh, you know, all things considered, uh, we are. Let's see. Let's take a look here. We're game stage 367 right now. So, um, and, you know, we're level 213. So, yeah, this is going to be nasty horde. Uh, oh, the other thing I was going to say, too, is I do have... I made a few more uh, grenades, too. Uh, so, we'll use those to clear out the, uh, you know, the really, the really big groups of zombies when they come in. And, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoy Horde Night 98. Let's do this.
All right, guys. Um, I completely had an old guy moment, and as, as soon as the, the horde night was over, I accidentally turned the recording off. Of course, not meaning it to. So, and then what I did is I went through and I looted everything. Well, we still had to kill a few more zombos, and then I looted everything. So, uh, sorry about that. But let me let me show you what we got. You know, in terms of loot, um, the best thing that we found was this. We found a a, a purple a minigun, which we might actually try. We have four mod slots with it. Uh, the thing about this is it's super expensive to fire, but it might be it might be fun, you know, to mess around with that a little bit if, if we can get a good stockpile of ammo. And then uh, we also found a, uh, a superior steel sledgehammer, which is not overall better than Brinks's Fury. It is for n normal attacks, but Brinks's has better power attack, which is usually what I do. Uh, plus it's got the, uh, you know, the shocking um, effect, which this doesn't. But nevertheless, that's a very nice find. And then, I don't know, I mean, we found another auger, but we find those all the time anyways. And I think, I think that's really it for the significant loot. And then everything else is just, you know, normal crap stuff that we usually find anyways on the, on the little horde nights. Uh, as far as damage goes, um, everything is really in reasonably good shape. I mean, I have, definitely have some repairing to do, but... We we never really had any blocks that were on the verge of of being destroyed. There was one block uh, that I had to repair uh, during the horde night. Uh, one of the in blocks uh, in the entrance uh, that I had to take care of. Here, let's. Uh, we need to eat too. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, there's definitely damage. Like I said, uh, just about everything has some damage, but nothing like critical. Uh, was damaged. So let's just go back up and take a quick look at that. We got some sleepers spawning back in, I think. So yeah, this is pretty much what what it looks like. Like I said, there is damage for sure that we got to fix, but um, it was this block here, <clears throat> excuse me, that was was in pretty bad shape, and, and so I actually ended up repairing that while the Horde Knight was still in progress. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this design works really well. As long as I can keep the electric fences repaired, which I can, and use grenades, you know, for when the crowds get really big, um, this design actually works well. The, you know, the blade traps are kind of like more of a bonus. I, I wouldn't say they're essential to this design, uh, but, you know, they're kind of nice to have. And so, yeah, it's really, really the electric fences more than anything that's the star of the show here. And uh, so, you know, as long as we keep those things going, <clears throat> excuse me, we can we can make this work really well. If I decided not to use the blade traps at all, you know, we could even put a fourth electric fence uh, down and just go with that. And that, I mean, that would work just fine. Uh, you may have noticed too, towards the you know the latter part of the horde night, when I was finally able to clear things out enough to get a, a blade trap, I put one on the ceiling. And that was pretty cool, actually, uh, having that up there because it was just shredding their heads and, and uh, you know, hitting them where it hurts kind of thing. So it was really fun. Uh, but, you know, the, the thing that takes the blade traps out are the, are the cop explosions. And it's very difficult to control that when you have, you know, when you've got a dozen zombies up here, four, four or five of them are cops. They're all taking damage from, uh, you know, electric fences, from from blade trap, from me, from grenades. And it's, it's just it's super difficult to prevent those cops from exploding and that's what usually takes out the blade trap so anyway 
Um, overall, this design is still working very well, and I'm very pleased with it. And it's really not that complicated either. It's it's a fairly simple setup, you know, if you if you think about it. So, all right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to go and just wrap up the episode here because, you know, this is kind of a good uh, ending point. And I'll just, you know, do all the repairs here and get everything all fixed back up. And then uh, in the next episode, we are going to likely... Uh, choose an, another new POI that we haven't done and continue, you know, doing the new custom POIs, looking for doing buggy parts and whatnot. I asked you guys in the last episode um, to let me know if you would like me to continue this series and continue doing the custom POIs um, and and then also start, uh, but you know, but do that more infrequently, like maybe once or twice a week, uh, but then also start a Juarez UK series, or if you want me to stick with Undead Legacy and, you know, finish it out before we switch to Juarez UK. Uh, I have not seen your comments from that last episode because I've recorded these back to back. So um, I just want to remind you to definitely let me know in the comments uh, what you guys would like to see with this series. And then we will go from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much. Um, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.